Hey everybody, welcome back to the YoshiCast. I'm Yoshi, and today I want to talk about one of the blank comic book covers I had sketched on. My sketched on cover today is Transformers Regeneration 1, issue 96, sketched on by artist Derek Yaniger. So, Transformers Regeneration 1, issue 96, the blank cover variant. This uh, this is still the easiest one of Regeneration 1 to get your hands on. I did actually find one last week in a comic book store here in Bellingham. Go figure. But it does pop up on eBay pretty regularly, and I am starting to see the price of this guy creep on up. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a couple of years old, so it's getting harder and harder to find, but as far as Regeneration 1 blank sketch covers go, it's the easiest one to get your hands on. And on this one, I had the Transformers artist Derek Yaniger do a sketch on it, and he colored it for me, which was a double bonus. Derek Yaniger is the Transformers comic book artist from Transformers Generation 2, a Transformers comic that came out in the very early 90s. He had a very gritty graphic style. Uh, he really liked doing, you know, zombies or, or anything where you could show gore, I guess. And he was, as I understand it, he was attracted to the Transformers project because the comics book code didn't care how many wires or the fluid that was dripping out from a, a robot, because a robot's not a person. They cared more about the way people were depicted. So Mr. Yaniger looked at this as an opportunity to really get gritty and dark with art. And he did that. If you look at the Generation 2 comics, you can definitely see that. So when, when I say that, and I'm pointing to this uh, very 1950s style Optimus Prime he drew on, the, on my blank comic book cover, I'm sure you're asking, what the fuck? Well, Derek's art has evolved over the years. He's an artist, he's grown, he's changed. He is super into 1950s tiki art, and he does a lot of original 1950s tiki art now. He's done album covers for Brian Setzer. He does tiki conventions where he does the banners and sells prints and does all that kind of thing. He's, he's very much into this new style, and he's been into it so much that he doesn't want to draw in the old style, and he might not actually be able to do it. He also said that drawing that drawing in that old style of Generation 2 took forever. It was very detailed. It just took a lot of time. Hey, I totally understand that. So the way I ended up learning that I could even contact Derek Yaniger was through another podcast, uh, The Roboplastic Apocalypse, which can be found at please save me robots.blogspot.com. Now, all the links I'm going to talk about in this show, I promise I will include in the show notes. So whether you're listening to the podcast or watching me on YouTube, you will have links that you can click on. You don't have to remember this. But I listened to an interview that Steve did from the Roboplastic Podcast Ellipse with Derek Yaniger. And it was from there that I learned of his website, DerekArt.com. And hey, I shot him an email. And I said, hey, would you be willing to do an Optimus Prime sketch for me on a blank comic book? And he shot me an email back and said, you know, I would love to give that a shot. But he also let me know that he no longer does that gritty G2 style back from the 90s, that he's super homed into this 1950s tiki art, and that's the way he's going to render Optimus Prime if I was okay with that. Of course I said yes. I mean, this is Derek Yaniger. He holds a special place for me in the history of Transformers, and I wanted a unique piece from him. Uh, so we negotiated a price. I sent him the comic. About a week later, he posted uh, images of this online, and he colored it, which blew me away. I mean, this is, he colored it and drew it. It's gorgeous. It's unique. It's 1950s Tiki Optimus Prime. And, uh, you know, after he posted the pictures online, he shipped the comic back to me. I have it now. And, you know, it was a very easy back and forth. I think uh, we figured everything out in four or five emails. And that was it, you know? So I encourage you, if this is the type of thing you want, you can certainly do a Google search for your favorite comic book artist, send them an email. Oftentimes, especially if they're still working in the comics industry, they will have blank comic book covers. You won't even have to send them a blank comic book cover. But Mr. Yaniger's been out of uh, the comics books world for long enough. I knew he didn't have any, and uh, so I sent him one. But don't be afraid to, to make that contact. Just put together a really nice, polite email. Uh, let them know what you want. See what and, and you'll have a back and forth, you know, uh, what you want versus what they can provide, what the price will be, how long it'll take, all of that stuff. You know, you can ask those questions up front, too. Uh, comic book artists uh, are very professional people. I haven't met anybody that was rude yet uh, who's a comic book artist. You know, they'll, they'll answer your questions, they'll take the time, and you want to do that. You want to make sure that what you're asking for is what you're going to get. So, 
ask all of those questions. You know, and I, I do. I've never had any comic book artist come back rude or annoyed or upset that I was asking questions. They know that this is new to you and they're going to work with you. So that's this episode of the Yoshi Cast. Thanks for allowing me to share with you my Derek Yaniger sketch. The This series has been getting some good responses online, so I'm going to do a couple more of these blank uh, sketches that I had done. I've also got some other things I'm working on, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time.